Hey, welcome back to our channel. For today's episode, we'll be going over the age old question. How do I reduce tape waste and adjust my margins? Today we'll be continuing on with our PTH 110 label maker series. And by the end of this video, you'll know how to adjust your margins to any size you need and to reduce that label waste. Before I show you this secret tip, please thumbs up this video and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on what's to come. Seriously, I think I've got like 930 something more subscribers before I get a raise. So seriously, hit the subscribe button. I beg you, call your mom, get her to do it. Help your girl out. All right, let's get started. All right, so we have our PTH 110 label maker here ready to go. First thing you're gonna wanna do is turn the power button on. And you can see here, I've already typed out a word hello. This is from last week's video. Um, what we're gonna wanna do is go to menu. And you can see here, you've got a variety of options. Language, LCD contrast, width, label, margin. Okay. That's what we want, so we're gonna go ahead and click OK. Now, I wanna make sure you guys can see that good on this screen. You'll see the word full. Note full margin is one inch before and after your word. Half is a half of an inch before and after your word. Narrow is one sixth of an inch before and after. And chain print is going to print all of your labels with minimal margins between each other on one long label, almost like a chain, get it? Okay, so I'm gonna show you what each margin would look like. So say we're gonna go, we've got this all set up, we're gonna do a full margin, okay? So I'll print that out. And you can see here you've got some long margins. Now let's see what this would look like with a half. And then this way you can kind of get a comparison. So again, menu, we were at margins last, so that came right up. I'm gonna go to half this time, hit okay, it says accepted. Double click that print. Okay, so you can obviously see here it's smaller, but also you'll notice these little dots. This is to indicate that once you're supposed to cut along these two dots, and that would be a half of an inch. It has that internal cutter blade, so it has to pass. It has to pass this inside blade, so there is going to be label tapes waste. So what it's going to do is it's going to do dots for the correct measurements. Now, again, menu. We're already at margin because that's what we went to last. So we're going to hit OK again, and then we're going to do a narrow margin. Hit accepted. We'll print. Oh, here we go. Now we'll print. <laughs> And we cut and now you can see here again sorry my camera's a little crazy okay you've got tiny little margins but you still are gonna have this beginning waste and you can cut along here but you are gonna get this because it has to go through that cutter blade so another option is you if you go to menu I'm gonna go to margins you might have to scroll depending on what you just did but hit okay now we're gonna go to chain print and we're gonna hit okay so say we've got the word hello and you hit print. print. So see how I hit escape? It said feed okay, escape. So now we're gonna type the next word. And then we're gonna hit print, one copy. Feed OK. If you want to hit OK, it's going to keep going and you can cut it. Hit Escape. And then you could type in another word. And then you can type in another word. And then say we're done. OK. Feed OK. Please cut. So now it has typed out a word. You know, it would normally you probably wouldn't do a sentence, but um, this is what we would consider a chain because it's one after another, all linked together with that narrow margin size. So it's going as minimal as you can, and then what you would do is you would take scissors and you would cut in between the words. Again, no matter what, you're going to get this little bit here at the beginning because it has to pass that cutter blade. Um, 
but I know it could be considered a pain, you know, to have to take scissors, but this is gonna give you your best bet at it because minimal, minimal waste um, to utilize that chain print function on here. So again, this is full margins, half, narrow, chain with the PTH 110. Hopefully you found that video helpful. Please thumbs up this video and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on what we do next with this PTH 110 label maker. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.